everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video we are solving a iit jam economics 2023 question for you all so this is a series where we will be solving several questions from iit jam economics 2023 paper so in this video we are going to discuss the solution for question number 26 so what does question number 26 has to say a production function at time t is given by y is equal to a into k raised to power alpha into l raised to power 1 minus alpha. Now here the t which is written in subscript that shows us the time period at which this variable is being measured. Now alpha is between 0 and 1 but alpha is not equal to 0 0.5. Y is output, K is capital, L is labor, and A is the level of total factor productivity. So define per capita output as Y equals to Y by L. So this will be small y. Capital output ratio as K equals to K by Y. For any variable X, T, denote DX, which is the derivative with respect to T by X. The per capita growth ratio is. So you have to give the per capita growth ratio. This will also be small k. So you have to give per capita growth ratio. Now how do we find per capita growth ratio? What does actually per capita growth ratio actually means? So per capita basically means that for every individual. So here we have L individual. So I have to find the growth for each and every individual in terms of each and every individual. Which means the per capita growth is given by, since it is growth, so I will be using the change in the variable divided by the base value of the variable. Now it will be given by Y dot divided by Y. So this gives me the per capita growth ratio of output. So even if here no output is mentioned, but since we are dealing with the production function, we would all only be interested in measuring the per capita growth ratio. How we will do this? So for doing this, we will first write our production function, which is yt is equal to at, kt raised to the power alpha, lt raised to the power 1 minus alpha. Now, since I want the results in per capita terms, I will be dividing with labor on both the sides. So, doing this will give me, this is going to be the per capita output. And what will happen here? You will be getting AT, KT raised to power alpha as it is. Whereas, here what you will get? This is 1 minus alpha and this is 1. So if you do, if you just divide that, you will be getting LT raised to the power alpha, which I can write as YT is equal to AT, KT by LT raised to the power alpha. Now, what do I need to do? I need to find the equation in terms of A. So if you go in the per capita terms, so since you are already calculating it for the each individual, you cannot have the number of individuals in your equation at that point of time. So to do that, I will be dividing this with yt. Okay, now what will I get? I will be getting, so let's just, I will be getting, so if I take this from the previous page, so it is going to be, at this will be small kt now what will be lt by yt that's the question what will be lt by yt i know y by l is small y so l by y will be 1 by y so i could write it 1 by yt raised to the power alpha so i will be taking this forward i will get y dot not y dot, sorry, y is equal to a t k small k divided by 1 by y t raised to the power alpha. I have just carried forward this from the previous slide. 
Now this will become y is equal to a t k t y t raised to the power alpha. Now here I have the power of y here is one and here it's alpha. So if this y goes to the other side, it will get in divide and divide means subtraction of the power. So y t one minus alpha. So how we have got this y t upon y t raised to power alpha is just equal to this thing. This is the extra working note. So I would be getting a t k t alpha. Now the next step I have to do is that I need to find the change of rate to get to my growth rate, which will be so. If I take the derivative, it will be one minus alpha y dot upon y is equivalent to a dot upon a. Plus alpha k dot upon k. Okay, so solving this further would will give me y dot upon y is equal to this will be. Now what do I have here? I have one minus alpha, but I just want the value of this variable, so I can divide both sides with one minus alpha. So this will be my answer. So this will be my growth rate in per capita terms. Now, which option matches here? So here, of course, since we are measuring growth rate, so you can skip this t variable as well, because in the answers you will never find t score. So the correct answer would be this option A. As it matches with one upon one minus alpha a dot upon a, alpha upon one minus alpha k dot upon k. So this is the only option matching here. As in this option, yeah, b should be having alpha. This is totally incorrect. This is totally incorrect. So a option becomes my correct option. So I hope this video will be useful for you. And we have a lot more videos on the solutions of IIT Jam 2023 paper. So, for watching them, subscribe to our channel, like this video, share this video among your friends, and see you in the next video.